Virtual Man back at it again, this time with a Retrobat PC emulation build. And this is great because it can play games that the Raspberry Pi 4 simply cannot play. And Retrobat should be a very familiar experience to RetroPie, to Recall Box, and similar emulation. It looks beautiful, a ton of themes, and has configuration for all your favorite systems. And that's exactly what we see here, is all of those old ROM packs that he was making with the Raspberry Pi 4, you know, the thousand PlayStation games, all the PSP games, all the uh, other consoles, Atari, Nintendo, all those same ROMs and ROM files and metadata and all those game lists are gonna work for this build. So if you simply want to expand on your build or get a really great standalone PC emulation build, this one might be for you. And in this video, I recorded my whole process in setting mine up so that it may help you out if you want to set something up similar to this. Now, when you download his image to begin with, it will not have ROMs. You can either simply download his ROM packs or add your own ROMs from there. Depending on your skill level, this may be pretty easy for you, but I've outlined all, everything I did to get this up and running. And if you'd like to just get straight to some gameplay, I start that around the seven minute mark in the video. But let's go ahead and jump into it. So when I recorded this, I was on a beta version. There's a couple extra steps not uh, included. One of them being downloading the OpenAll libraries. The other one being he makes sure that you run both the pre post batch script and also the um, video snap dot bat script. Um, so I'll show you those two things, but uh, everything else is going to be very similar as far as how you set this up. So as far as getting started, I'm what I'm doing is I went ahead and downloaded the newest level up version 1.3.1. But as you see on my V drive here, um, this is actually an older version. What you wanna do is uh, extract it first. So you'll go ahead and, and extract it with 7-zip and then you're given these files here. And these are the files that I'm just gonna drag and drop into my V drive just like this. So that the RetroBat folder is in the root of your V drive. The PC games are in the root of the V drive. Okay, so make sure you start with that as far as before you even get ROMs, that's the basic file structure. So either within Windows Explorer, you can go over here to manage system um, and then you want to go to the disk manager you can also go to the disk manager by just typing disk uh, right here and then it should be create and format hard disk print should bring you to this similar place so either one of these places you want to go and find the hard drive you do want to format the hard drive as ntfs that's the only file system that will work on this right now it's called seagate backup plus drive e and I want to go ahead and change it to V. So I'll hit E, change, go down to V, OK. All right, and now have it as a V drive. So as you see here, we now have our RetroBat build. And I've been downloading every single add-on I possibly can. The add-ons you're not seeing here is I've already downloaded Amiga, Amstrad, Atomus Wave, Dreamcast, GameCube, Jaguar, Model 2, Sega Model 2, Sega Model 3, MSX2, Open Bore, P PS2, Saturn, a few Saturn games, TI-99, Wii, and ZX uh, Spectrum, and X68000. Now, you want all your games to be in this ROM directory here. So for that, I need to go ahead and uh, move everything around. So Neo Geo, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut and paste it into my ROMs. For So I'm done with Neo Geo now. Go ahead and delete it. Let me grab 3DO, X, put it in there. All right, 3DO is done. Arcade. Okay, we're doing that. Add open command prompt and type V. Okay, here we go. So type command prompt. Okay, we got a prompt. Users drew it, it's fine. So we're going to type V to go to our V drive. Now we're in our V drive. Let's go ahead and do uh, slash CD retro that. I think you're only supposed to, um, I don't think you need a slash. Okay. Next.
You can test the junction because if you should, you can test the junction because it should go to ROMs and it should have all those ROMs I have been playing with so far. Settings, gaming, game bar. And you don't want to open that. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get 86 and 64. Just make sure we get both. installed. Let's make sure we have direct X. Definitely don't want the Bing bar. All right, that was easy. You can go ahead and uh, lower this. That was one of the optionals. I'm not going to do this number six because I don't have Zarkia Pinball yet on my build. That'll be releasing after this video, but you might want to go ahead and install that by following that link. If you want to use a standalone Scum VM, you will need to copy scum.ina, INI, copy to users, your user ID, app data roaming Scum VM. So here are those script fixes. Uh, we have the fixed video snaps and then the virtual man updater. You can also find the updater in the main tools folder of the RetroPlist level up. And those will just get the latest updates for you and then clean up those video snaps. If you need it, you might get away with not updating those video snap uh, script there as well. All this money just to play Tetris. So this is it. And this rest of the footage is just me testing all the different systems when I first set mine up. But it's so easy now that you have those drivers uh, set up, 
Now, I can see why some people might be like, wow, that was like a lot of stuff you had to install, Drew. Well, a lot of that stuff was actually already installed on my computer. I just went through the installation process again, just in case you're starting from a fresh booted computer. Those are the same things you would have to install as well if you were to run this on coin ops or something else. Those are just drivers for your computer, a lot of it. Now, um, as far as the drag and dropness, you know, at this point, you can easily add a lot of his uh, add-on packs and they're gonna be running uh, just great. As far as any hiccups I've ran into, because I had one of the previous versions, I have to say like he addressed everything I uh, you know, mentioned to him that I kind of ran into an issue. And it's only getting better from here. As I mentioned, compared to the Raspberry Pi 4, you're gonna be running Sega Saturn and PlayStation 2 and PC games all day long. Um, so uh, it's, it is easy to just delete a game. A lot of people say, well, what if I don't want all those games? You can easily delete. So as far as you know, adding, removing, and upgrading throughout time, I think this will be one of the easier front ends for you. Um, I think it's a great, great add-on, um, and uh, this is how you do it. So let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, shout out to V-Man and all his community for all the hard work they put into this, and uh, have a happy holiday.